Alex Rodriguez's ex-wife, Cynthia Skirtis, opened up about his recent engagement to Jennifer Lopez and revealed how she is feeling about the exciting news, during a stroll on March 17. Alex Rodriguez, 43, and Jennifer Lopez, 49, happily got engaged on March 9 and now Alex's ex-wife Cynthia Skirtis, 46, is speaking out for the first time about the news. While out for a stroll on March 17, with her two-year-old daughter, Camilla, who she shares with fiancé Angel Oscar, Cynthia was asked what she thought about the former professional baseball player's upcoming nuptials. I'm happy for them, she told Radar Online, seeming slightly annoyed. Other than that I have no comment. Cynthia's apparent annoyance doesn't come as too much of a surprise considering the messy issues she's been going through with Alex over the past few years. The former lovebirds were married from 2002 until 2008, when she filed for divorce with claims of infidelity and marital misconduct, and they share daughters, Natasha, 13, and Ella, 10, together. Despite the 10-year-long split, they've seemed to be having disagreements when it comes to their new lives and the financial support for their kids, and it's all laid out in court documents involved in a 2014 civil lawsuit brought on against Alex by Cynthia's brother, Constantine. Cynthia allegedly isn't too keen on Jennifer and even made disparaging remarks about the singer, according to the documents, obtained by the NY Daily News in July 2018. In those same documents, Cynthia also accused Alex of allegedly threatening her to stop paying child support for their two daughters. The claims in the documents come from Alex's attorney, Alan Kluger, as part of Constantine's civil lawsuit. In the lawsuit, Constantine accused Alex of fraud, breach of fiduciary duty, unjust enrichment and civil conspiracy, regarding a real estate company they put together in 2003. He claims he was forced out of their company, Newport Property Ventures, in 2008, the same year Alex and Cynthia got divorced. Constantine also accused Alex of mortgage and insurance fraud after Hurricane Ike that same year. The case is ongoing and although Cynthia has continued to say nice things about Alex in public, the lawsuit and its claims seem to suggest things aren't as smooth as they may seem. It will be interesting to see where things go from here regarding Alex and Cynthia. Let's hope Cynthia is really happy for Alex and Jennifer, as she says, and that things work out in the best interest of all involved.